Hi guys, this is Evie. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I did these super cute iridescent blingy short white nails. So this is going to be a fill in and a redesign of my Christmas nails. If you guys are interested in seeing how I did these, I will link the video down below. But I'm taking my nippers and we're going to take off the 3D art and the crystals. And once I have everything off, I'm going to use the nippers again to snip off the excess length. And I'm cutting them longer than what I want the final length to be. All right, so now I'm taking my e-file and my medium grit safety bed and we're just going to take off all of the gel polish. After all the gel polish is off, I'm just going to work around to get any of the lifting off. Um, I have a little bit of lifting on this nail um, and then I'm also taking down the bulk of the nail. Since they were so long, they were a little bit thicker, um, so you have to take the bulk down. So after that, I'm using my hand file to shape up um, the tip of the nail of the shape that I want it to be, which is a slight coffin shape. All right, so for the fill-in part, I am just gonna push back my cuticles. I get questions about, you know, where did I get this from? I got this from Alpha Brush, but I don't think they sell this one anymore, but any cuticle pusher will do. <laughs> um, so then I take the opposite end and just kinda lightly scrape away the um, dead skin from the nail plate. Be very gentle. This video is sped up, um, but you wanna be gentle, okay? I'm being gentle. <laughs> All right, so next I'm going in with this uh, cuticle clean bit from Todak USA. And yes, I do have some staining on my thumbnail. That is from Yellow Acrylic. It is not fungus. It is not anything like that. So don't come for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just worked this cuticle clean bit around my cuticle areas. And as you can see, it gets up all of that dried cuticle from the nail plate. You won't even know it's there if you didn't use this. <laughs> Next, I go in with this um, kind of sphere drill bit I believe I got this from Gearbest but it's a, another manicure bit and I kind of use that around the cuticle area as well um, and it also gets up the dead skin that may be still attached to your um, you know to your finger whatever what to your cuticle area um, so it is safe to kind of rub around there and it cl cleans up the cuticle very very well it's very gentle you want to use this on a low speed and this also helps with you know not having super dry rough looking cuticles <laughs> so after all of that I'm going in with this gelish pH bond and this is a nail prep and dehydrator and I apply that to my natural nails and then I go in with the Harmony Pro Bond, which is a acid-free primer. And then I'm going in with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And we're just going to do the fill in with this. Um, I'm applying a really thin layer because we are going to be um, doing some more acrylic on top of this. So um, as you can see, I am putting the bead down by the cuticle area and then I'm just brushing it down the nail and it is a really thin layer of clear. So I do that for all of the nails. And as you can see, I do have some more staining on this nail. It is staining from yellow acrylic. It is not a fungus. Don't come for me. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going in with a mixture of white acrylic and clear acrylic. And I kind of mix those up to um, give, give me this milky white color. And I'm just going to apply it very thinly over our thin clear base that we have here. 
And the brush I'm using is a number eight Alpha Kalinske brush. And this one is a little dirty, so don't judge me. Um, <laughs> I need to clean my brushes. I suppose I could do a video on that, but you know, my ways of cleaning my brush is probably not <laughs> what everyone recommends. But anyway, yeah, my brush is a bit dirty, but you know, whatever. Uh, so after I put down that base of Milky White, I'm going in with some clear acrylic just to cap it all because I don't want to file into the white acrylic um, because sometimes you get like patchy coverage or whatever. So you always just want to cap it just to make sure. So for the middle finger, I'm going in with a thin layer of that Milky White color. And then I'm taking some of this gorgeous hollow glitter and this is available in the long hair pretty nail shop um, and I'm just going to apply that to the nail I kind of just want this on one side of the nail so it's just going to be concentrated on you know this side <laughs> so I do use a small bead of clear and then I dip that into the glitter and that is how I apply it to the nail and I just use the tip of my brush to kind of move those pieces where I want them to be. So once they are in place and I give it about maybe 20 seconds for them to kind of dry and set in place, I go in with a small bead of the milky white color and I kind of overlap the milky white color onto the glitter just a little bit. And then I encapsulate the glitter with clear acrylic. All right, so for my index finger, this is just going to be a all milky white nail. So we're just applying that all over the nail. And then I'm gonna once again, cap this with clear acrylic. So for my ring fingernail, I filed it a little too narrow. I don't like how coffin shaped it is, so I want to widen it out a bit. So I'm using this nail form and I'm just going to apply the milky white um, over the tip of the nail and just shape it the way that I want. Just kind of, you know, adding more acrylic to the tip and to the sides because I don't want it to be so thin. Um, so once I have the tip the way that I like, I'm just going to apply a thin layer all over the nail. So after taking the nail form off and doing a tiny bit of filing, I am going to apply these beautiful iridescent diamond pieces. I got these from Born Pretty Store. I'll try to see if I can find the link, but yes, I painfully applied these one by one. <laughs> so after they are all in place, I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate these with clear acrylic. And this nail is a little bit chunkier than what I want, so we do not need a lot of clear, just a very thin layer. So as you can see, I'm just taking my time to try to keep that thin layer of clear as thin as possible. But of course you wanna cover up, you know, all of these little iridescent diamond pieces. All right, so after all of the acrylic is dry, I'm gonna go in with my shaping and filing. All the items that I use in this nail tutorial will be linked down below, so if you have any questions about what I use, check the info box down below. 
All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm gonna go in with Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And we're going to apply that to the nails. And I just love how these iridescent diamond plaid nail looks. It is so pretty. So I do apply a little bit of cuticle crystals I had a little mishap with my nails. I ended up bumping it and messing up all of the top coat before I got a chance to cure. So that is why the other nails are bare right now, but I just went ahead and did everything over again. So after curing in my LED lamp for 60 seconds, I'm applying cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. These nails are super, super cute. I love how they turned out. I'm not a big fan of short nails on myself, but I think these turned out so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to the Long Care Pretty Nails shop where you can find the items that I used to create this look. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in my next one.